Hey guys, in this video I want to talk to you about a tool I've been using to dry vehicles after I wash them in like half the time and how to modify it to make it more specific to detailers. Now you guys may have seen this tool already, but this is the Milwaukee M18 fuel blower. So this is a blower that does not have to be plugged in, but it is cordless. And these are two 18 volt batteries. Milwaukee makes two different types of blowers like this. One that only takes one battery, and this one is a dual battery. So this is going to last a little bit longer and, in my opinion, probably have a little bit more power. And this is what I've been using to dry these different vehicles I've been washing. Now what I want to talk to you guys about are the attachments that it comes with in addition to showing you how I'm drying this ceramic coated car with this particular model of the blower. Number one, of course it comes with all these adapters, particularly the long leaf blower adapter that you're going to use to blow off a sidewalk or blow out a garage, all that sort of stuff. But if you guys think about, let's say, pressure washers in the detailing world, when we're dealing with pressure washers, often it's a lot easier rather than having like the kit spray gun that it comes with to actually, as a detailer, using something that's more handheld, shorter nozzle, it's not this huge wand. So that's why we use a lot of these. So this is the same idea. Rather than using these super long leaf blower type adapters, I actually have modified it and I'm using a stubby nozzle on the end of this. And I'm going to hook up a link to this, of course, in the YouTube description box. But all you have to do to clip this in is just match up the groove and the tongue down here on the bottom. You can hear it click in just like this and then you're ready to go. Now you guys can probably see the appeal here, but as I'm holding this machine and blowing it back and forth, drying off a car, having this stubby nozzle makes it a lot easier because number one, I don't have the extra weight on the end where it's even harder to hold it and balance it. Number two, I actually am trying to get the nozzle close up to the car because the closer I can get, the more powerful air blows out. And number three, it's got this kind of silicone ring around the end of it that keeps it a little bit safer if I accidentally tap the car with it. So let's go ahead and check out what this looks like in real time. Now just to show off the tool, you guys can see the first thing I'm gonna do is take this ceramic coated car, just rinse it down with my deionized water. Yes, I'm using DI water just in case I have any leftovers. Don't want it to spot on the ceramic coating. Then I'm going to bring that Milwaukee blower with the stubby nozzle on top of it. I'm just going to start blowing it off. So I haven't applied any soap to the paint. I haven't done any sort of agitation wash. And I want you guys to just take note of how easily the water blows off the paint. Of course, yes, it is ceramic coated. And I chose a ceramic coated car on purpose because you can see those beads roll off the paint a little bit easier. But it's really easy for me, even just with one hand, to use this blower, blow off the entire side of the vehicle and make sure that it's totally dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my foam cannon. I'm gonna foam some of the car down here and then I'm gonna bring my leaf blower back in. And I normally, of course, would never do this in a real detailing situation, but for the sake of the video, just so you guys can get a better picture of the power of the air coming out here, I just wanted to blow the foam here because the foam's a little bit easier to see than the water is. And so you guys can see that yes, the foam does cling to the paint and so it's not just gonna shoot off like the water is from this ceramic coated vehicle, but you guys can see how easily the air pushes the foam across the paint and if I kind of focus in even on one area I can kind of draw a circle just by blowing the air out. So this tool is really really fantastic for drying vehicles post wash process without having to touch it and of course introduce any sort of micro abrading and frankly it just makes your life really easy particularly if you're washing in the sun and you're able to quickly blow the water off with this cordless tool it makes a lot of sense. Now finally I'm going to reapply the foam I'm going to do a bit of an agitation wash of course on the entire vehicle as well and then I'm going to rinse it off and I just want you guys to be able to see from a different angle here on the hood as well as the windshield and kind of the front of the car what this looks like. Now, as you guys are watching this kind of last part of the Milwaukee tool at work, one of the other tools that I've shown on this channel is the Blow handheld car dryer. The reason why I like this Milwaukee tool a little bit better is not because it's necessarily more ergonomical. It's a little bit more difficult to use because it's a little bit heavier. But in terms of the application I'm talking about in this video, blow drying a car after it's done to dry it, the Milwaukee M18 blower works way better because you're getting way more air, it's cordless, and it's just way faster. Where I would reserve the blow handheld tool are things like engines or particular parts of the interior, and if I already have it hooked up. It's really easy for me to grab this blower off of the wall. Because it's cordless and it hangs on this wall mount right here just like this, it's always there for me when I need it. So when I'm washing in the sun outside and I've got my car wet, I can grab this as quickly as that and actually start to use it. Now guys, that being said, I think this is a really, really good investment for any of you guys who are doing mobile detailing specifically. You're outside and you're more exposed to the elements. Something like this makes your life a lot easier, particularly because it's cordless. In the same way that I like the Milwaukee cordless DA or cordless rotary because really the cordless aspect of my business makes it so tempting to grab those tools rather than having to take the two seconds to plug something in. But I also like the way that this can be modified with this stubby nozzle. It easily clicks back out just like this. 
And this little tool, while really simple, and yes, it's just kind of a piece of plastic with a silicone rubber seal on it, it makes my life a lot easier as a detailer as I'm moving this around in the same way, like I said, that a small pressure washer wand makes it so much more enjoyable in terms of the user experience to actually get a vehicle washed when you're using a pressure washer. This really serves the same purpose, and this is how I would modify the tool if I were you. Guys, as always, I will link up the tools that I talked about here in the YouTube description box below if you want to check them out. And if you like videos like this where we're reviewing really specific products for really specific applications in the detailing world, make sure to hit the like button because it's the only way that I know that you guys actually like to see videos like this to maybe help you decide to purchase or not to purchase something. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I will see you in the next video.